Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs from the Board of Studies portal. I am CA Anuj Jalota. We are on a mission to be doing every possible question. Okay, and believe me, we all have done a lot. From the time this course was started, we were the first one to introduce a complete course. Absolutely no recordings from the last, from the old course. 100% shot everything from scratch. We covered the entire module. We did every possible question from the module, every possible concept from the module, every single line, every theory, every practical question, everything we did. Once that was done, for the benefit of the students, okay, who are, might be uh, like, you know, who don't want to enroll for the complete course or they are waiting, uh, we thought to be putting all the MCQs, okay, of the module completely in detail. Completely means like, you know, whereby we explain the concepts, we try to do everything that is there surrounding every single question, whether it was a repetition for me or not, but every single question is a standalone question by itself. Even if you will be watching that, 99% of the time you will be able to grasp that entire concept. Okay. Uh, in case you want to take advantage of the regular course, link is there in the description and always join my telegram channel and the group for the updates on this subject. Okay, with that, we will start away with today's question. Now, just one thing, this subject helps you to become an employer than an employee. If you are interested in business, if you are interested in uncertainties, all those things, then please do remember that this subject is meant for you. Read it like a storybook. Okay, believe me, you will learn a lot amount of things. It's the only subject that will help you to run your own business. Okay, no other subject will be teaching you those things. To be very honest, uh, FR, if you will have great business, then you will take care of the accounting. No, your DT and RIT, you will have income, you will pay tax. No, okay. Okay, those all rule based subjects okay honestly they don't develop sense for you what develops sense are subjects like this and sad for like you know for the students to be very honest that this subject was not made as a main paper it was removed from there but if you check all the foreign courses of the across world okay it could be say the acca it could be say mba it could be say cima okay all these courses lay maximum stress on this subject because this is one subject that you got to be knowing because world is is only about the businesses okay you cannot be a ca and only trying to be reporting beta you have to start your own business someday and that is whatever will take you to the heights that you all want okay so please ensure that you study this subject obviously one reason is for passing okay other reason is paper six but also because business interests you through my practical examples that's whatever even if i have imbibed around 10 percent of the students to start their own business i think my job will be pretty well done okay let's start it off so the question is what are the features of startups now, there are two things. One of them is called as startups. Other of them are called as incumbents. Incumbents are basically established companies. Okay. Like if suppose I'll be giving an example uh, in reference to say a scooter company. Okay. Ola was a startup. Bajaj in this case was an incumbent. Is already there for so long. Yeah. So what are the features of startups? Temporary organizations designed to look for a business model that is repeatable and scalable. More or less this should be true. Okay. Because set up, uh, because the startups know they are like, you know, in beginning, they don't even know that they will be able to survive for very long or not. So therefore they are looking for a business model that they all can repeat and scale it up. Best example could be a company like Oyo. Okay. There are so many examples, so many damn examples of startups. Okay. Now, one of the names that appears in front of you could also be Baiju's. Okay. We all know that Baiju's is in a worse shape ever from being a company valued as India's biggest startup. Okay. Having around 22 billion of like, you know, the valuation till a company who became bankrupt. Okay. So, a uh, lot of companies, uh, Red Bus, you might have heard of. Okay, I've met the owner, a wonderful guy, and from where he started and how he encashed is a great story to listen to. Companies like Swiggy, like Big Basket, like Ola, okay, like Paytm, all these were startups only. Now they all have become like, you know, big in their field. But when they started, they were, of course, a startup. They didn't have huge amount of backing here. So, uh, in this case, first one is correct. Okay. Second, stable process for operations and risk management. They don't, to be very honest, no, startups do not have a stable process. They keep on uh, changing based upon the market conditions. I am just reading third, fourth and fifth, then I'll come back to, okay. Majority communication using expensive traditional media channels. To be very honest, uh, now I want to speak something. 
Byju's had done that. They sponsored, I guess, the World Cup and had to be paying uh, BCCI some amount. Okay. And it is due to this amount that they could not pay. They were a startup. Was stop, stop to spend on all these useless things. Okay. But they spent. Who could have controlled Ravindra Byju at that time? Ravindra Charan. Uh, who would have controlled him at that time but then he did that okay and BCCI had sued him that is whatever had taken him to insolvency also okay so although he says I will pay you within 90 days blah 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 okay but uh, further point number four customer focus and innovation is focused to carve out new niche categories for to address the unmet demand. I'll come back to this. Seldom profitable in the initial years. Point number five, I'll agree at this particular time. Most of the startups are not profitable right from the beginning. Okay. So, uh, one, four and five, one, two and five, then two, four and five, and then one, three and four. Okay. Now see, in this case, what is the difference between incumbent and startups? Okay, one example, Bajaj Chetak. Okay, the EV vehicle. It was made by Bajaj. In beginning, in this case, like, you know, they were not successful. But then they know that if they will make the product, make it reach to the right audience. Ultimately, it will do good only. Okay, customers ultimately want a better product. But then Ola Scooter did the maximum number of bookings when it was launched. It was launched like, you know, the people only had to be paying 999 rupees to book a Ola Scooter. They did more than 1 lakh bookings, I think, on the first day when they all announced it. Okay, so it matters. Like, you know, those things also matter. So just some difference. This I might have discussed in some uh, previous MCQs also. So if you read the first point over there, focus of research efforts new technologies that require significant more money and resources to develop now incumbents are those companies who are established companies if they are established companies they have enough amount of money right okay so they don't have a reason not to invest money they try to be thinking we will not fail okay we will develop the product okay and ultimately product will be successful but in case of a startup it is innovations which are supported by tech behemoths or angel investors okay now suppose there is suppose for a small example like this you might have heard also before up and so on suppose uh chalo, i'll give you an independent example suppose two or three people from apple who are con who are into say like you know the research team in apple they all leave okay and start up their own company okay now that will be a startup so therefore, those guys are tech by mouth. Those guys are basically those people like, you know, who have expert knowledge in their field and they are trying to be doing a business. Okay. Or it could be the angel investors who are trying to be doing something. Okay. Object is, you read the second point over there, drive true sense of technological change by exploiting it at the commercial level. Ultimately, Bajaj one day, okay, will be one of the biggest players in EV two wheelers also. Today it is not, but then it will be for sure. Okay. They are opening the showrooms in name of Chetak only across India. Okay. They want to be making that vehicle super big further. Drive the change through disruptive innovations. Disruptive innovations are those which change the market. Okay. To be very honest, Ola had done that with their S1 scooter. Although I don't like that scooter as compared to Bajaj Chetak. It's very light, very delicate. Okay, I don't like it much. But then most of the public does not agree to whatever I say. And people like, you know, buy it, bought uh, S1 and S1 Pro. Those were the two scooters that were launched by Ola in a very big way. Okay, so therefore these guys are basically like, you know, they come out with something new and ultimately like, you know, they want to make the product successful. Then further strive for take technologies to profitable level. Okay, and further uh, the startups bring innovation with potential to cause the disruption. They want to be disrupting the market. That's it. Okay. Their simple job is there is some market leader, but we will come out with something completely new. And ultimately, we will try to sell our product as such. Okay. Now, 
you all know what do you mean by startups and start uh, startups are slightly agile organization agile means flexible okay they adopt to consumer needs super fast okay they all launch something the consumers don't like and they are not that big companies that they all cannot change like you know for bajaj to change it is very difficult because it is operating at a very big scale but for startups to be changing it is not a very difficult job okay so i'm coming back to the question uh question in this case was which are the features of startups okay i'll now read it once more temporary organization designed to look forward for a business model for a business model that is repeatable and scalable yes it is a temporary organization they constantly look for models which is repeatable and scalable think of ritesh agarwal of oyo rooms starting from where read his story is very inspiring and where he has reached today it is like you know it was a scalable model that worked for him second stable process for operations and risk management okay no their processes are not established they keep on changing their processes based upon whatever are the flaws whatever are the consumer behaviors that are changing so second is not true third majority communication through expensive traditional media channels no example if you think of say a company like ola okay uh, when they launched the scooters up and so on they did not try to advertise everywhere like you know in the newspapers or like you know uh, on the billboards that we are coming out with a new scooter up and so on no they don't have money only for that okay as i was saying byju's did that mistake and like you know it became very bad for them so these guys try to be using the cheaper the innovative medium might be the social media up and so on they made like you know the youtuber uh, community they brought them together gave them money they told you try to review and everybody was speaking about that so automatically that excitement starts to build up so third one is also not correct fourth customer focus and innovation is focused to carve out new niche categories to address the unmet demand okay obviously yes customer focus is something that is very important in all the startups they always try to be thinking we have to be capturing the market no matter who or cook okay seldom a uh, profitable in the initial years yes in the beginning their investment is high their advertisement is high so therefore in beginning they might not be very profitable so one is correct four is correct five is correct okay so one four and five i guess that's point number one okay so that should be the correct one one question that often i am asked sir you are an incumbent or a startup now i don't know i don't try to categorize myself but i follow a very simple thing whenever i am trying to be teaching i have my other businesses whereby i might be a startup okay but in this business like uh, in teaching i cleared in 2002 and from that time till today it has been around 22 years okay I have taught more than say 80000 students today whenever i launch a course to be very honest i try to do my research and i try to bring out the things that i think they are best for the student some people will keep on advertising no do smart studies do only this you will pass and like you know it is like you all are only trying to be marketing yourself like you know take my pills you will become thin okay i say no you exercise okay take one year and then become thin you will remain thin forever because you will have a schedule as such that is whatever i try to be believing in okay and i will constantly believe in the ethics that i have not whatever is there in the market so i am not like a startup okay any new person any new random guy giving you short notes you only try to be doing this you will pass okay that's not my purpose of education that's not what i came here for my purpose of coming for teaching when i came in 2002 there were frankly no teachers who had started to teach at the age of 21 there were very 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 few teachers at that time okay and especially a young guy to coming it was a very different thing but then i came because i wanted to bring out the best concepts okay somebody can be saying kya phekta you wanted money who does not want money okay it is not a crime to be earning money okay most of the people have started to think that thing like you know that Uh, earning money is a crime it is not a crime okay and if somebody thinks today i'm trying to be compensating by putting honestly my best content in the last 22 years free on youtube and that is whatever i'm trying to be doing okay now somebody can be thinking you might be having a money objective keep on thinking it hardly matters to me this is a qr code that uh, has a playlist that will have all the questions of scpm that are there either in the module or in the board of studies more questions keep on getting added every day till the time we meet next time take care guys bye